Hello, welcome to this video from InSource Productions, where today we will be talking about the Orchestra Log Monitor Utility, which is used for remote log monitoring. Before we dive into what we'll be showing in today's demonstration, let's talk about what the Orchestra Log Monitoring Utility does. It allows us to remotely connect any SMC loggers configured, allowing us to show both error and warning count, and also changes colors and can generate an audible notification. So it's very useful if you have to monitor lots of different SMC logs because you don't have to open them up and go through them to look for errors and warnings. This little utility can run in the tray, generate an audible notification, and you can even at a glance look at it to see are there things in error and are there things in warning. So it's very powerful, especially in a distributed application, to be able to monitor multiple SMC logs from a troubleshooting perspective. For today's demonstration, I'm going to show you using two nodes, node 1 and node 2. Node 2 is the green node, and I'm going to simulate adding that to the logger manager and show you what that looks like when it's set up. So let's dive into software and see what that looks like. So we are now in the system management console on node 1. This should look familiar for most of you, but to add a node, I simply right click under the default group, select the connect option, remote, and I can type the node of the, the node name in or the IP address. Then once I do that, it will show up in the list. This is nothing new. I'm sure lots of you have done this before. What is new is the Orchestra Log Monitor utility. So now let's see how to access that. We can access it from the default install path of Program Files x86, Orchestra, Common, and the executable name is aalogmonitor.exe. So I'm now back in my image. I've pulled up the path and I'll launch the utility. So you'll notice the log monitor presents us with the current status of the node that it's monitoring. So OK indicates that there are no errors. Uh, red with error indicates that there are errors and then yellow would show warnings. Tells us the node name, tells us the current error and warning count, the time of the last error and warning count. The configuration of this is very simple. I can right click on it and select configure and tell it how often I want to refresh the status or if I want to produce an audible alert when a new error is detected. So that's it. This is a great little super simple utility that is very useful for monitoring multiple SMC nodes. I hope you found this video useful and feel free to check out additional videos in our Knowledge Center at insource.solutions. Thanks for your time and watching today.